Investigators still have a mystery on their hands tonight. They're trying to solve and uh, the disappearance of a woman more than a year and a half ago. Lately, they've been focusing a lot of their efforts on the place where she lived with a friend. News Channel 8's Josh Thomas live in Clearwater with this story for us tonight. Josh. Well, good evening, Rod. Well, since Tuesday night, investigators have been searching this Clearwater home as well as the back and, as you can see, the front yard here on Owen Drive. This is where the woman was last seen, but there are still no answers on where she can be found. 43-year-old Roberta Renee Cable lived in this Clearwater home until her disappearance in December 2013. She stayed here with an acquaintance, Jerry Gaston, who owns the home. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office suspects that Jerry Gaston killed uh, Roberta Cable uh, and disposed of her body. That's why the Sheriff's Office has been digging on Gaston's property and using ground-penetrating radar to search for clues. We have found items here on the property of an evidentiary nature. I'm not going to discuss exactly what they are, but we have found things of an evidentiary nature. But as of right now, we have not found any human remains. Family and friends told investigators Cable was excited about starting a new job before her disappearance. Neighbors tell us Gaston has been somewhat of a recluse since the woman was last seen. For the most part, I really never saw him outside of his house. Maybe to get his mail, I saw him walking his dog one time in the year and a half that I've lived here. So other than that, no. The sheriff tells us they're keeping track of Gaston, who hasn't been in his home since investigators started their search. And if he's not here, where is he? I'm not going to tell you where he is. I, I know where he is, but I'm not going to tell you where he is. He, he's here locally. He's still in Clearwater. Other neighbors are just concerned about what could happen next. You know, wonder if he doesn't get arrested and he comes back. That's, yeah, I don't think it's a good thing. And I don't think that the neighborhood will think it's a good thing. And hopefully they'll be watching him if they do let him come back. Now, in addition to searching this home, detectives have also combed a home in Inverness that was owned by Gaston, but they didn't turn up anything. Now, investigators tell us that they will be out here doing their work for as long as it takes, and they have not told us how long that will take. Rod. All right, Josh, thanks so much for that live report tonight.